Elite biathlon coach Nick Alkumov emigrated from Russia in the mid-1990s. He moved his family about as far as it was possible to go. Australia, a country known more for its exotic climate than winter sports. Now he coaches the nation's biathlon team, a task that lets him keep family closer than you might think. My dad is my coach. It definitely helps, I think, because to achieve being a one-man team, I think you need someone that will support you fully. At the beginning of our journey of in the sport, I said, OK, Alex, if you want to do sport, I'm not your father, I'm your coach, and you're not my son, you're an athlete. The family relationship is a small part of it, but the rest has to be sport and goals. I started biathlon when I was um, 18, and first I was a cross-country skier. The first time I started um, competing in biathlon, I knew it was my sport, and it's really interesting and fun. My dad is the wax man, the doctor, the coach, and um, so he does everything. We don't have anyone else. Your mother and your father for the team. <laughs> I was a little boy when my parents decided to move to Australia, and um, I don't really remember much at all because I was only six years old. First of all, I went myself, and then after that, I just took my family there. I have a mentality of an Australian person because I was brought up there and I went to primary school, high school. In Australia he completely forgot Russian. They used to say, no, no we don't need Russian or anything. I said, no, you will need it. Um, now that I'm traveling the world, it's, it's good because lots of the teams speak um, in Russian. We do argue a lot. I think that's natural and I guess at the same time, I'm really lucky to have my dad because he does everything for me and he looks after me and obviously he wants the best result for me. And, um, and he probably loves me, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. I'm well known as a hard and tough person. I know what I want and he has to listen. He's a son and he's an adult. I'm a coach and father. I guess everyone has dreams, but you have to be op optimistic and realistic. So um, at the moment, I just, I just want to go to Olympics and um, that's pretty realistic at the moment and I think I'll go. But um, my goal is just to keep improving. Obviously, I have dreams of winning medals, but that is very, um, being very optimistic.